Hello and welcome to this video on Emacs. Um, I've got ears. I haven't got headphones on. I don't know why I've been wearing my headphones when I've been recording these because I'm not listening to anything and I'm not listening to myself back. So anyway, there you go. It's funny the things that you pick up on when you uh, watch yourself back. It also means that my voice level will probably be different now. I probably won't be shouting. I don't know if I was shouting before, but hey. Um, there's been a bit of a delay between when I've been recording videos. Uh, I have been away with work. And I am also, I've also been, uh, had a bit of a cold. Ooh. Um, so also bear with me and bear with my voice and I'm a bit bunged up, but there you go. Um, today I want to talk about company mode. I'm just going to go through the basics of what company mode are. Um, I'm not going to go into details or any other packages. I'm just going to look at company mode. Um, so let's, well, yeah, I'll show you so company mode modular in buffer completion framework for emacs which is a very long way of saying it just auto completes things basically that's that's what it does um it's in its uh raw form it's very basic it will just look within the file itself and this this is all i'm going to cover today it will look within the file of previous things that have been typed or previous text and it will suggest those as you type if you kind of um pause your typing for a little bit i, I can't remember what the setting is but it's a certain number of milliseconds uh so let's go over here and uh get to our config um let's open screen keys so Actually, before I get going on this, I've got a couple of people to say thank you to. Um, the first one is Rick Dixon. So in a previous video, uh, when I, or up until now, when I restart Emacs and I go into my tutorial config that we're in now, the there was a warning about the theme. Actually, let me show you if I just like close out and then I Emacs, go here, and then I say, put. I get this error. So loading a theme can run Lisp, co Lisp code really load. Do you basically, do you trust this? You have to click, click, click yes. And then treat this theme as safe in future ses sessions. I've also clicked yes every time for this, but that message still shows up. Um, so what Rick Dixon, thank you very much, uh, told me, which if I'd have looked, I'd have probably found, but it's really nice that he's, uh, kind of point out to me is that all I need to do in the load theme uh, function is pass the parameter t for true I imagine to say I trust this so if I save that close emacs and then I go tut make that full screen you will now see there will be no error and it will just load it'll take some time but it'll load so Rick thank you um, another uh, if we just go back in tutorial, let's just get going. So modes, uh, now we'll put in general packages, I guess. Centaur tabs, that was the last thing we did. Wonderful. So if we create another another line here, um, so we're just going to call it company. So it's worth noting actually here that if I type cent, nothing happens. If I want centaur, I have to just type the whole thing. But with company mode, we will no longer have to do that. So the second shout out is for Nat Nguyen. I don't know if I've pronounced that right. Brian Green, I'm pretty sure on that pronunciation. Uh, Nello Onya. And I'm, again, I don't know if I've got that right, but for those three people, thank you very much. I appreciate it. So to start these source blocks, all you need to do, open bracket, open, or oh, less than, S, press the tab key. Look at that, magic. And then you can say Emacs Lisp. And then third shout out, third thing that I've been told, Jens, Jens Osland, or Jens Osland, again, I'm very sorry, and Yadira Perez told me about org edit source code, which you can org edit source code, code. So if I press this, it, what this does is it opens another buffer with the contents of this code block. So you get code highlighting and everything like that. So 
uh, if I oop, use package, uh, so it also takes into account the um, the language that you've set in the source block, just so you know. So use package company, ensure it's installed, and then ah, someone just rode by on a horse, as you do. Uh, and then if we init, and I'm just going to, so the way that I've done it, the way that I have it done in, in my config that I use every day is I have uh, the company mode enabled for every buffer, any mode. So you can just set it so that it works for um, only programming, if you only want completion in programming, because if you're doing, you know, you're writing a big document, you're writing a book, say, which you can do in Emacs, you won't necessarily, every time that you type, want a suggestion of something that's already be, that you've already written in the file. Uh, so if I save this, You'll see on the left hand side in the in the config, the code block has updated with what I have here. And then I can close this code close this code block with control C um, single quote, which is again actually how you open it. You don't actually have to run the function. That's the shortcut. So there you go. So everyone that gave feedback on that stuff, thank you so much. Genuinely, like my day to day since reading those comments has become so much quicker. It's like saving so much time. Anyway, so save that, it's already saved. Let's execute that. Uh, it'll install company if it's not already there. One thing to note, which has been happening to me at points when I um, try and install a package is that I get an error saying basically that the package can't be found. So to get around that, you can run package refresh contents. So package refresh contents will just go to Alper, Melper, and basically just update that list of packages. So if that happens to you, if you get an error, that's how you do it. So from my example of from before, when I tried to type centaur, so if I type C, nothing comes up, that's fine. If I type E, nothing comes up. N, however, I should, oh, hang on. Uh, yeah, close. I need to, I need to restart because I've, uh, what am I doing? Emacs. Uh, I need to restart Emacs because I have said that it should set company mode when I start Emacs. So without starting Emacs, it's not going to do anything, is it? Come on. Uh, mo no, not modes. General company. Oh, here's where I started typing it. So let, let's try it again. CE nothing N, Centaur and Center. So anything that has been typed before will come up. I'm pretty sure it is um, it's, um, I'm pretty sure that it's case sensitive. So yeah, Centaur, there it goes. Uh, you'll notice that it doesn't actually fill in uh, anything with a tab, it's just single words. And again, I'm pretty sure that could be configured, but this is my basic usage of company mode. Um, so, that's all I'm kind of going to say on company mode for now. I will do some other um, some other videos because if I let just look at my own config, so I use quick help and company turn. And I'm not using company turn. I'm using company. I'm using tide. Interesting for um, so that's for JavaScript autocomplete. Um, so, but anyway. I'll get into those another time. I'm thinking of doing a, a video on my setup for working with JavaScript and um, Python. If you're interested in those, let me know in the comments. Uh, other than that, like, uh, like and subscribe. Um, again, leave a comment. If you're on library, follow, tip, uh, YouTube, like and subscribe all those things, ring the bell, whatever, whatever, all those things that people say, if you want. Obviously, if you don't want, don't bother. If this is just a, you know, a drive-by watch. Thanks for watching anyway. Uh, maybe just do the little thumb thing. But again, you don't have to. Maybe do the down thumb thing. I mean, it's your choice, free world. Uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Cheers. Bye. You think that was okay?